and welcome back to Source Fed Nerd. I'm Steve Zaragoza. All right, Whovians, it's happened. The moment we've all been waiting for. The 12th Doctor has been announced, and that man is Peter Capaldi. Not me, and not a woman, and not a black dude. That's weird. I mean, we thought it would be. It would have been cool. Most Def would be a great Doctor Who, right? Why not? Basically, watch Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and you'll see most Def playing Doctor Who. That's what it would have been like. I thought it would have been cool. I'd be down with it. Capaldi is most known for his role as Malcolm Tucker in the BBC series The Thick of It. Whovians may know him as this dude from an episode of the David Tennant run of the series called The Fires of Pompeii. Remember? I do. At first glance at the new Doctor, my thoughts were, him? Really? After that amazing audition tape I sent in? Really, Moffat? Really, BBC? Roll that tape. Check out my sonic screwdriver, girl. You wanna f fuck? Uh, uh, fuck. Um, um, nope, we're not going to, and you know why? Because the doctor and the companion, there's no sexual tension. They don't ever have sex. They don't fuck. I'm sorry. She's a beautiful woman, and I shouldn't have said those things. I'm sorry. Come close for a hug. You see, that's the duality of my acting abilities. I can be mean, I can be sad. You shut the fuck up, you alien from another planet! No, I will not save your people! No, I will not save your children who are starving! Fuck you! CJ, you're holding me back! Are there gonna be bagel bites? Come on! I nailed it, right? Maybe I can be the 13th? Huh? I digress. Capaldi is 55 years old, Scottish, Glasgow born, and is the oldest actor to play the Doctor since the first Doctor, William Hartnell, in 1963. He'll replace Matt Smith, the youngest ever Doctor at 26 years old, who took on the iconic role back in 2009. It's bittersweet, but for those of us who have been watching at least since the Eccleston days know that Smith's days as a Doctor were eventually going to be up, as with all the Doctors before him. I'm still not over tenant leaving, and I was just getting used to Smith, who definitely grew on me. It took like three or four episodes, or maybe five or six. actually. He didn't really fully grow on me until like one of the big specials. The good news is Capaldi is beloved in the UK and is also a longtime Doctor Who fan. Capaldi admitted to writing a letter at age 15 about Doctor Who to the Radio Times and was quoted as saying, Even though I am a lifelong Doctor Who fan, I've not played him since I was nine. I downloaded old scripts and practiced those in front of the mirror. You goof. He's a goofball. He made me think he did play the Doctor before, but he was just a kid, so. And what does series lead writer Stephen Moffat have to say about the whole thing? It's an incendiary combination. One of the most talented actors of his generation is about to play the best part on television. Peter Capaldi is in the TARDIS. And apparently Moffat had Capaldi in mind for the Doctor for a while. He was almost the 11th Doctor, according to Sam over here, so if it's not true, write him a bunch of shitty letters. Moffat admits that there comes a, quote, right time for the right person to play it. Like when a current doctor wants to leave, right? Have they ever gone up to an actor playing the doctor and been like, cool, you're done, bro. Get out. We got a new one. Fresh faced. He's hot. Girls will love him. So there it is. The announcement was made live on BBC and simultaneously on BBC America yesterday. There is a 12th doctor. It exists. That man is out there. In the lore of the series, there is one more regeneration left for the doctor and writers are starting to get a little nervous about how to keep the franchise going. Tom Spilsbury, editor of the official Doctor Who magazine, said, we're getting towards the end of the incarnation cycle and everybody always remembers that bit of the overall plot. The question is probably a few years away now for Doctor Who fans. I don't think they'll be worried about it just yet. Doctor Who is popular, so the BBC will invent a way to get around it when the time comes, won't they? I don't know. Will they? All things must come to an end, and for some series, it's best to quit while they're ahead. A lot of shows become potentially tired and overstay their welcome because of obvious attempts to stretch the life out of beloved characters. I'm not talking about any show in particular. Heroes! <coughs> Scrubs. The Office. Dallas. SourceFed. But Doctor Who is a series that has been going strong for 50 years and shows no signs of stopping, my friends. As long as they can keep coming up with good stories and amazing characters, by all means, fly on, TARDIS. Fly on. And when are we going to see the Ood again? I like those guys. They're holding their little communicator. Come here, Doctor. I'd like to show you something. That's not how they talk. So what are your thoughts on the new Doctor? Let us know in the comments down below. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that today. And also click on this link and you can see the other videos on the Nerd Channel. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Can't wait for new Doctor Who. The 50th anniversary special might be in 3D. I love John Hurt. Why can't John Hurt be the new Doctor? Why couldn't they switch the things? I'd like John Hurt to be the new Doctor. I fucking love John Hurt. This TARDIS is itchy. I'm nude under it.